my channel and as promised well not as promised maybe some of you already know that I posted on my Facebook story that I'll be doing a special video for 2021 and I posted it beside my art card so probably some of you already um, had a hint what I'm gonna do for a special video so I decided to show you my art materials because Many people have been asking me what materials I've been using, where I buy them. But to be honest guys, I'm not really a, a supplies or tools type of girl. <laughs> I'm not really that kind of girl when it comes to art. Mm, I only buy I only buy canvases and paints, but I really don't buy like paint brushes. Yeah, it seems like I have a lot, but you know, I've been painting for three years. Well, almost four years now. I've been painting for four years, so I've collected that. But I, re I rarely buy stuff that uh, will just collect dust in my storage. So most of them I'm actually using. I'm not just, you know, storing them for, for collection sake. So, if some of you already know, maybe probably, <laughs> maybe you already know that I have a, an art card. Yeah, it's a movable card. <laughs> so I have here my paintbrushes. All right, I just hit myself. <laughs> I have here my paintbrushes and some pencils and scissors and basically, what? <laughs> basically all the pointy stuff. Yeah, the dangerous stuff are in here and the paints down here you cannot see it but I'm gonna show you later because the camera is like <laughs> horizontal <laughs> so I also have my palette knives and I think yeah you can see now and I also have some canvases behind me I'm gonna introduce them to you one by one later but first let me start with my paint brushes because some of you are asking me the exact paint brushes I'm using when I'm painting and again I'm telling you guys I'm not really very particular when it comes to brushes because I just I just I'm not just the type of girl who's very particular with uh, the exact number of paint brushes I have to use when the paintbrush is pointy, then I'm gonna use that for details and when the paintbrush is quite fluffy, then I'm gonna use that to paint something that are like clouds or maybe blending and stuff like that. I'm not really like point zero something. I'm not like, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry card. <laughs> Alright, so yes, as I mentioned, let me start first with my paintbrushes. So. I really don't know the pink brushes that you want me to to explain but again let me tell you these are four year old paint brushes most of them I bought from Korea already I mean most of them I bought from Korea <laughs> what am I saying <laughs> I bought from Korea and all right let me just tell you the favorite brushes since I have a lot but the most okay the fluffiest brush I have is this one. It's not super fluffy, but when it comes to painting clouds or painting the background so that I get most or large surface area done, then I do this. I use this um, paint brush because it's quite big. But as you can see, it's really like worn out brush. You can even see some old paints from the tip to the handle so you can tell that it's really old or maybe I'm not just washing it properly I think I'm washing it properly because it's just that it's normal if you're a painter it's normal that you get some paint or blobs of paint all over your paintbrushes and everywhere in your clothes and all that <laughs> okay so what else is my favorite brush this one is also a big brush actually I'm sitting on the floor it's hurting my legs already. This one is all also big and also old. And it's also one of my favorites because it's big. And yeah, it's stiff and all that. Kind of like that. 
and I'm using this when I want some large surface areas to be covered. The difference between this one and this one is that this one is quite fluffy, softer, but this one is quite stiffer. <laughs> so they have different purposes, but when it comes to surface area, I use them if I want to cover a large surface area or if I want a huge painting area to get done really quick. Oh, sorry guys, my legs are just hurting because I'm seated on the floor. All right. So this is my very friendly scissors. They're quite dangerous though. I use them when I'm opening packages, um, canvases, and what else? My favorite brush. Okay, let me just sit properly. <laughs> All right, my favorite brush, another favorite of mine is this one. There you go. <laughs> this one is also one of my favorites because squat. I don't know if it's focusing. Focus. Focus. There you go. It's quite fluffy as well. Mm, but it's dirty. I'm using this for making clouds. When I say dirty, I don't mean that they're gross. I just mean that old paints have collected. Uh, from the tip to the handle so yeah I think it's a good part of my art journey as well yeah this one by the way was um, from Korea and the previous two that I introduced to you guys are also from Korea because I started painting there so a huge amount of my art journey started in Korea so yeah what else oh by the way one of my favorites is this one you know when you see my video tutorials when I do some foliage this is one one of my favorite brushes because get the job done pretty well ah, focus focus there you go it's really round you can tell really round and really stiff you can tell that too so it's really good for foliage foliage um, uh, foliage like brush strokes because it gets the job done without having you to without making you feel like you have you have to stress out about the details of the foliage because I really don't do that stuff I just make use of my tools here and I also have I also have what hmm, for this one this one is also one of my favorite brushes uh, to be honest guys the brand name well yeah there you go I don't know if you can see that hmm. I don't know if you can see because it has already been covered with paint but it says here I'm gonna remove the paint It says here Filbert. As I told you guys, I'm not really particular about um, brands, kinds, types, and all that. When I see a pink brush, I look at the tip of the brush. I don't look at the brand. I don't look at the number. Some people say that it's important to know that, but for me, it does not really matter. But to me, um, when I look at the brush, just looking at the bristles, I can tell um, on what purpose or what type of subject I'm gonna be making that I'm, I'm gonna make use of that you know uh, this one it says Filbert and I remember because I really cannot tell the brand anymore it's all covered in paint so the brand I remember was Babara Babara it's from Korea as well I used this sorry <laughs> I used this uh, in painting clouds 
or in blending as well but it's a smaller one compared to the previous one that I already showed you so what else do I have here for my paint brushes hmm. well I guess that's about it you know if you ask me for detailing what I use I simply use small brushes but to be honest do not really that much because I just use the tip of the brush even if it's a thick or long brush for pointy or small details I'm just gonna use the pointy pointy most one <laughs> the most pointy part of the brush let's say this one even if it's big I'm just gonna use the tip of the brush is why it's quite triangular already I'm just gonna use that tip to give me some details you know it's all a matter of uh, making things work for you I don't want to buy small uh, all the fancy paint brushes that some um, teachers or painters would tell their viewers to buy or maybe recommend I'm just not into buying that kind of um, recommendation I may or may not but uh, yeah, I have nothing against those people who buy those stuff because I think those are effective as well but what I'm just trying to say is that you can be effective if you just make things work for you and not to be dependent on specifics that other people are telling you so there you go all right i think we shall move on to my palette knives because palette knives are my favorite too when it comes to seascapes and um, feathers and rocks and all that so let me just tell you or let me show you my palette knives I'm using a <laughs> peanut butter <laughs> um, um, glass for this one but I like it because it keeps my paint brushes or my palette knives in place and separate from my paint brushes before they used to be together but I think I hit myself trying to look for my paint brush I hit a palette knife uh, just I just separated them so let me tell you first the paint the biggest palette knife palette knife <laughs> the biggest palette knife that i have this one Ooh, it's so big this is like you can use this when you put on a butter on your sandwich this one i rarely use this stuff because it's too big I think you can only or I can use this when it comes to like bigger pieces big landscape or seascape paintings but when it comes to my regular size canvases maybe I, sh I won't use this one but it's good to have it because you know I know time will come that I'll be painting on really really big canvases so my favorite palette knife would be this one I'm always using this one because it's quite pointy and really long and does not give me a hard time controlling it because I can actually um, um, make some details because it's again it's not too thick and make some um, strokes palette knife stroke strokes that are big but not so big you know that it's like good enough Am I saying things correctly? I don't know. And yeah, one more thing I have to tell you guys that I'm not really the type who frequently clean her palette knives. I do this on purpose though. Don't accuse me of being gross or something like that. <laughs> no, because I do this on purpose. Number one, it also protects me from being hurt by my palette knife. Now, my palette knife originally when I bought them they're quite pointy because they're like paintless and really clean and fresh but now that it's covered in paint it won't hurt me anymore because it's it's covered in acrylics and it actually helps me 
to just you know be a little careless when I'm handling them I don't have to be uh, especially when I'm searching digging through my pile of paintbrushes especially before when they were together so now they're all covered in paint sometimes of course I clean them because it gets thicker and it does not serve me or it does not do the purpose that I want it to do for me so sometimes but you know I, I make it to the point that they get covered in paint first like this one that it does not really um, prevent me from making use out of them but it does not but it does a lot of good cover to the pointy parts of this palette knife of course some people may suggest that if you're doing that why don't you just use a credit card like an old credit card or a membership card or something like that I just don't want them because they they don't have the handle that I really appreciate because yeah makes me control the knife credit cards mm, maybe not because I have less control over that tool so I'm not gonna use that one but you can use that one as an alternative if you're traveling or if you are um, if you misplace your palette knife yeah in case of emergency maybe I will all right oh guys let me first introduce to you to my sharpener this is actually a pencil sharpener so you're just gonna insert in the hole the pencil and then you're gonna oh, sorry <laughs> sorry you're gonna twist this it's like a machine and all that and it's gonna sharpen your pencil so i've had this in 2014 yes before painting uh, before my painting or art journey so I've had this one I bought this as well from Korea it's like an alien thing to be honest I really don't like the the red kind of thing I if there was yellow or if there was pink I would have chosen that but yeah all right so what else oh this is my varnish some people are asking me if I'm varnishing my paints I've answered that before maybe in the previous questions yes I do varnish them but I do not varnish all of them 90% of them are not varnished to be honest I'm varnishing only when I'm about to ship or about to deliver a painting or I'm I'm obsessed about the painting let's like say a Van Gogh recreation or my self-portrait then I'm gonna varnish it this is a plus gloss what plus gloss varnish <laughs> there you go I bought this from Korea as well as you can see it's pretty empty now but I've only had this huge bottle and I never bought another uh, varnish um, bottle again because I really again 90% is not varnish so yeah but I still have them I think I'm gonna buy one soon because some people are buying my paintings so I better protect it like let's say I'm giving away a painting so I might as well varnish it because that would protect the painting from dust and especially when they are already in another home because some of them may probably don't know how to take care of the surface of the painting so I might as well um, I might as well do the or initiate the protection thing <laughs> If that makes sense all right so I guess we should proceed now to introducing you to my paint well guys in Korea I've always used alpha alpha acrylics I don't know if you have this many people have been asking me um, the painting uh, or the paints that uh, I'm using um, well it's alpha acrylics I bought this from Korea it's a local brand to be honest but surprisingly like last week I went to art bar in the mall of Asia where I buy my art materials most of my art materials are from there so I finally got I finally saw the Korean brand that I really really like so I'm just happy because I finally got it and now I'm happy because 
I really like this brand. If you like this brand, it's alright. But um, during the time that, or before that time when I found this, the availability of this locally in the Philippines, I've been using this one, Reeves. And I think this is a good brand as well. The drying time is quite slow, so if you're that type of painter who likes to blend and all that, I think Reeves is good for you guys. But if you're a fast painter like me, I think Alpha is good for you. Alpha, I really, really appreciate This is not a sponsored video, by the way. So, <laughs> I don't think Alpha will sponsor me when it comes to this because um, it's a good brand. I don't think they need some um, ads and all that. But Alpha, hello, if you want, you can, you can contact me. <laughs> so again, I'm using Alpha Acrylics and Reeves. What else? What else do you want me to tell you? I guess that's that's about it about my paint brushes, um, palette knives, and paints. But as well, I have to explain first why I'm buying in big tubes. That's because I just want to feel that secure feeling that I'm not gonna run out of paints anytime soon. That's why. <laughs> that's the only reason why I rarely buy paints in small tubes. Actually, I really. I like this but when I buy stuff like this I buy in threes or twos yeah I just don't buy a single one because uh, sorry guys it's so noisy <laughs> hello all right so yeah as I was saying I really don't buy in small tubes normally unless I'm traveling because I just I just use a lot of paints because look at my canvases they're kind of big and speaking of canvases let's now proceed to telling you the canvases that I've been using especially when I moved to the Philippines um, it's, it has become quite different for me compared to when I was in Korea so let me tell you the brand name here this is actually 22 by 20 oh sorry sorry this is 22 by 24 22 by 24 is cotton cat it does not <laughs> it cannot fit in the frame but yeah I really like relatively big canvases this is not super big to be honest some people are really painting on huge huge canvases but I bought this from art bar in the mall of Asia here in oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry guys let me just <laughs> arrange the things so yeah there you go I, I'm buying from Mall of Asia um, in Pasay City where my unit is also located my building is also located and for tutorial purposes I'm using this one sometimes well most of my tutorials are painted on this acrylic can canvas papers it's a set of 10 it's 10 pieces it's quite thick and yeah I, I recently bought this because i was planning to do some more tutorials for you guys and i i've decided to paint on this acrylic canvas papers yeah so that's basically it i've been painting on canvas papers for quite a while since i started my tutorials because i think that would be easier for you to follow along and for me to finish the tutorial because if I do it on really big canvases we might be spending a lot of hours just teaching you the stuff that I can actually teach you guys when I'm doing things on canvas paper so just to save time and also to save space because I have a lot of paintings inside my room so if I add more paintings that are tutorials um, I will no longer have that room for more canvases that I or more paintings that I'm doing when it comes to, or that I'm doing on real stretch canvases. Of course, those tutorials, even though they are painted on canvas papers, you may transfer them on a real canvas or stretch canvases. That is only for purposes of tutorials and convenience as to I mean when it comes to me <laughs> so I think that's about it so I think yeah that's about it because I, as I told you guys I don't really have um, a lot of fancy 
uh, art supplies. I only have the things that I actually use. I don't have that glazing medium and all that. I, I really just don't have that. I don't buy that stuff. I don't hate that stuff. It's just that for me, I'm wasting time on using those. Not just wasting time, I'm also wasting... Of course, you're wasting money because you could have just bought something else like canvas, glazing medium, and other medium, the retarders and all that. I'm just not into that because they're so fancy and uh, I just, for me, just use water and you're done. That's how basic my art lifestyle is. <laughs> so I guess, well, not guess. Guys, I'm so sorry. I can't tell properly. I don't know if you can tell that my right jaw or chick is quite big or chubby, but uh yeah sometimes it hurts sometimes it does not and next week i'm gonna get my braces because well why are we talking about this <laughs> well anyway um thank you guys for watching i'm just gonna film another video next time maybe you'll see the braces on me already so thanks for watching guys i hope this kind of give you the idea of what i'm using and why i'm using things like this way or um how uh you know this is a simple basic idea i don't know what i'm saying uh, basic idea of my tools and that probably can relate to this if you're like me as well so yeah i hope you enjoyed this one guys see you in my next video and have a lovely day